Dear Toastmasters, distinguished guests, Today I'm going to talk about money. Not how to make money, because if I had known, I would have been rich by now. And if I knew it, I would not tell you anyway. Just kidding. I want to tell you about the crisis and the protests, as the one in front of Wall Street. Crisis and protest are actually linked. But first of all a question. Do you know where some of the richest people in the world made their fortune? In the US, in Mexico, in Russia, in China, in India. Countries where half of the population is considered as poor, where unemployment is staggering, Violence is ever increasing because people have to pay for decent education and medical care without being sure to get their pension. So that shows my point that today 10% of the world population actually possesses 90% of the wealth. Let me explain to you how it all began. Until 1971 money, I mean the US dollar, was pegged to gold. At that time, you could freely convert your money to gold. Then, the US Federal Reserve, under the impulse of President Nixon, decided to unpeg it. This piece of paper became the sole currency used for international trading. They established a new world order. Chiefly, Western governments sold their expensive goods and products to poor countries in exchange for their natural resources like cereals, coffee, cacao, banana and gas. Countries who wanted to buy more in order to develop had to make loans from the International Monetary Fund contracting therefore debts for 20, 30 or even 40 years. Indonesia and Philippines are perfect examples. In order to negotiate the payment of these debts and ensure against inflation, financial schemes were invented. Who is going to lend to a poor country? Well, bonds and stock actually ensure that the creditor possesses a part of the wealth of that country and therefore be reassured that you will be reimbursed. Stocks and bonds also insure against inflation and stabilize prices. Otherwise money would be floating. In order to make even more profit you could join a bigger deal which is called the package. A package represent thousands of investments that yield more profit because it's a bundle of let's say 10 billion dollars but even to make even to make more profit the institutions started lying they might might have 1 billion in stock and bonds but they pretended that they actually had 10 billion and joined the package saying we are investing 10 billion so we are expecting profit for 10 billion dollars but in fact they only had 1 billion but profit sometimes exceeded the basic investment this scheme is called the pyramid and of course this financial pyramid was built on thin air what was supposed to happen happened. When banks started asking for fresh cash, there was none. And pyramids started crumbling down. Reassured though, people who credited this practice did not lose their money because this knew this was a fraud and they got their money back before the pyramid crumbled down. Now, people all over the world a left wears nothing. The government cannot pay for the pension, education or medical care. To add insult to injury, people 
in some developing countries actually made a lot of money from the financial schemes. So ladies and gentlemen, crises and protests are here because people feel cheated, stolen and grudged. The crisis and protest are also political as we see it recently in Russia and over the Middle East. Unless the financial system, the global financial system, is changed, things will not change. And in a few years, we might see that 5% of the world population actually possesses 95% of the wealth.